Hello, my wonderful reading friends. It's Ani. Thank you for coming to read with me. If you want to read more stories with me, be sure to subscribe. And for shout outs, book reviews, and other content, follow me on social media. Have you ever tried to do something really big, but you just couldn't get it right? In this story, we'll learn that mistakes can actually help us along our journey. Join me as we read The School of Failure. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. The School of Failure, a story about success. Written by Rosie J. Pova. Illustrated by Monica Filipina. There are countless fairy tale characters in the world, but not all of them make it into the storybooks. At fairy tale auditions, one particular trio had a hard time with rejection. This little kitty is auditioning to be the evil queen in Snow White. Not the perfect fit. Oh no! But I want to be perfect! The non evil queen cried. This is the end of the world! Can you guess what part the wolf is auditioning for in Little Red Riding Hood? Too good. Bad wolf needed. No one likes the wolf because he's always bad, and I want to be liked, Wolfred howled. This is the end of the world! And this little redhead is going for the lead part in Cinderella. This isn't working. Oh, no, I won't be famous, Cinderella wailed. This is the end of the world. Poof! The fairiest of fairy godmothers appeared. Don't despair, darlings. This is just the beginning of a brand new chapter. <laughs> it's time to take you to... The School of Failure! <laughs> Here you'll find all you need to succeed, my dearests, the fairy godmother told them. Ha ha ha! Have fun! Welcome, students, the headmaster greeted them. I promise to help you fail your way forward. Your dreams come true are awaiting. This place will make me perfect? The non-evil queen perked up. Likeable? Famous? Classes began early the next morning. The students got to pick their own assignments and do what they liked most. One piece of advice, said the headmaster. Select something that brings you joy and a bit of a challenge. The non-evil queen picked baking. I will try baking. She'd never tried it, but it seemed as easy as pie. She couldn't wait to bake the most perfect cake. Wolfred picked poetry. I'll write poetry. He was sure everyone would like his writing. Cinderella pondered. Hmm, what class would make her famous? Magic? Pottery? Playing the harp? I'll try them all. Fantastic, the headmaster said. You'll use those skills at the grand ball that Prince Armour is throwing. We'll be going on a field trip to the castle, he announced. So, day after day, the three classmates explored their skills. The non-evil queen baked her best, but... My dear, your cake burnt again. Oh, I can't seem to get it right. What a disaster. Oh, bacon delight, wrapped in a leafy blanket. I will eat you up. Wolfred wrote poems to please, but... I'm sorry, Wolfred, but your illustrated bacon poem is not quite right for Veggies World Weekly. But I went with my gut and poured my heart into this haiku, he pleaded. Cinderella still wasn't sure what to pursue. She quickly got tired of pottery magic and the harp. But then... She spied the Grand Ball dance-off poster. You could dance with Prince Armour, the headmaster said. Just don't let him step on your toes. Ha <laughs> I'm sure I won't, she laughed. The three classmates continued to practice. 
The non-evil queen donned her lucky apron and baked up a storm using different approaches. Oh, these cakes are as flat as pancakes, she sighed. But at least they're not burned. Wolfred encountered a conundrum that got him to rethink his priorities. Oh, I guess I don't want to be liked by everyone, he sighed. The magazine he's reading has an ad that says, Fairy Tales Hunters Society. We like wolves. Can you guess why he doesn't want to be liked by the hunters? Cinderella found just what she was looking for in the school's lost and found closet and decided to take a chance on dancing. On the night of the grand ball, the students arrived at the castle. The non-evil queen took over the dessert baking station in the royal kitchen. Wolfred's assignment was to write a sonnet for Prince Armor. Cinderella put on her steel-toed stilettos just in case and got ready for the dance-off. Unfortunately, a few things went terribly wrong. The entire royal oven caught on fire. Wolfred lingered around the meat's table throughout the night salivating. I'm at a loss for words, he thought. Cinderella danced her heart out with Prince Armor but messed up all the steps. She placed second to last in the dance-off. However, she did have a good laugh with a jester. On the way back, the headmaster reassured them. You are failing your way to fabulous, he said. Don't doubt that. As school continued, more flops and failures followed. And then finally, it was graduation day. The fairy godmother brought gifts and officiated the ceremony. The headmaster addressed the class. I'm proud of your hard work. You all learned how to fail without giving up. Congratulations! He presented the diplomas to each of the students with some final words of wisdom. Non-evil queen, remember, you don't have to be perfect to be your best. Wolfred, you now know that doing what you like is more important than being liked. And Cinderella? You kept exploring the possibilities even when it got hard. You must keep trying. And so they each moved on with their lives. The non-evil queen opened a bakery. Wolfred launched his monthly meats magazine, which he illustrated with colorful cartoons. Cinderella returned to the castle to apply to be a personal fashion consultant to Prince Armor. She thought his taste in clothes was too heavily outdated. But... Things still didn't go exactly as planned. The good news was, these School of Failure graduates were wonderfully prepared. And that's how they found their true selves. Cinderella partnered with a jester to found Comedy Club Live. She figured there would always be something new she'd love to explore. But for now, making others laugh gave her the most thrill. What does a steel-toed dancer do? <laughs> Steal the show! Wolfred discovered that his hearty hunger was for drawing. I always knew a picture was worth a thousand words. As for the non-evil queen, after a dozen more scorched cakes, she caught a break with some cool recipes. Best no-bake specialties. At their one-year class reunion, Wolfred, Cinderella, and the non-evil queen shared their accomplishments which earned all three of them top spots on the School of Failure Wall of Success. Failure is your friend. The road to success is paved with mistakes. Victory isn't perfect. And they lived happily and imperfectly ever after. Now we know that we can learn more from our mistakes than we can from our successes. Just keep on trying. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.